back with another video. Um, this is going to be yet another gear haul. This one's specifically geared towards in training gear, um, or just all of Athena's gear. I do want to say some of this is going to be a repeat of what Aries had, um, and you've probably seen it in another video. Because there's a couple of things here and there that are hers that fit him, but, you know, that we got for him, but fit her, so they're hers now, and just stuff like that. Um, I do want to say that there's gear in this video that we're not using yet, um, or we haven't gotten to use thanks to the quarantine, but, yeah. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so getting into all of our gear, I had to go pick it all up after our intro so you can see like the walls are now a little bit bare. Um, I know you guys could have seen some of the gear in the intro to this video, um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm going to start with collars and then go to training tools and then leashes and then pull straps and like so on um, down the row. Vests and harnesses will be last, just so everybody knows, and I do want to just say I don't have as much gear for Athena as I had for Aries in any of the other videos, um, mostly because I haven't had her as long, but as she grows up, obviously she'll get more. So anyways, um, so starting off with collars, I first have just her first collar, this is one from Petco, it's just this like blue one with roses. Um, I really like this. It's like a sky blue, it, you know, it, I love it. She still wears it and fits it, obviously. Um, yeah, it's really dirty. I plan on washing that tonight, but that's another video, actually, um, which you guys will see. This has been her collar that she's been wearing just because I've been meaning to wash this one for a while. It's this one from PetSmart. It's a velvet one with this rose on it. I'm just holding her tie just because I really don't want my information to be in the video. It's like this blush pink rosy color. Um, yeah, I like this one a lot. She doesn't wear it very often because she's not allowed to like get this super dirty because I don't know exactly how I'll clean it. Um, okay. Uh, from there, that's just all she has for actual like plain collars right now. Um, we do have one more coming um, from Little Orange Dog Co. on Instagram, which yeah, I can do like a video obligating the gear once the rest of the stuff gets in um but that's just because biothane biothane with our weather does kind of help a lot um getting into training collars i know a lot of this is going to be aversive but it's what works for us um so anyways starting off the least aversive one is the martingale this is just a pink one um and it's fabric so basically you attach the leash here and then if they try to like back out or pull from the collar, it tightens so they can't escape. Um, I personally really like martingales for dogs that are learning. Uh, we used this with her when she was a puppy and we first picked her up so that she couldn't spook and like break out of her uh, collar. So yeah, as I said, this just plain old martingale works great. Uh, we're actually using her away from the other training tools and on to just this currently. Um, from there, I then have our star mark. So this is just a plastic, uh, basically a plastic prong collar. I like to start introducing a prong with a star mark just to get the lighter, um, a lighter correction because in my opinion the corrections are a lot softer with this as well as I enjoy using it for moving away from a prong and towards a martingale. We used it at both times. Well, we used it for the introducing to the prong mostly, and then I've used it like a couple of times getting away from it, but it's been very rare. Um, but we still obviously are keeping it just in case. Um, on that, we also have our prong. Um, as I said, we're moving away from this just because she does have a really good heel and I don't want her to become dependent on the prong. This is this 3mm by Herm Springer. Um, if you look into getting a prong, I highly recommend getting a Herm Springer. Um, 
we use this because she's so fluffy and the or no this is a 2.5 millimeter um the 2.25 is what we use on aries um and the prongs just weren't long enough for her length of fur because that's how you tell what size prong you need um i want to say this isn't mean with the dog i say this in any video that i use a prong or like show a prong at all it's not mean it's not cruel um if you believe that i highly suggest doing some research it's actually one of the safest tools to use because of how the weight is distributed you're not going to injure a trachea at all um it's one of my go-to's with a dog that knows the foundations of a heel and just needs the little bit of corrections um i don't use this to like you know constantly correct because if they don't know what they're doing then they can't be corrected um anyways from there we then have our e-collar i know people are going to come at me for not having a mini educator but i find the tens on this is like the stem on this is the exact same as that of the mini educator um as far as in my experience i know personally here i have it on what a six so you can see that um and I'm hitting it and I can barely feel it up to a 20 now. So here on the 20, I mean, having no reaction. Actually, you can see a little bit there. Just a kind of like muscle spasm. And that's just because I'm holding it directly on it. But no pain, upping it to like a 22. And well, I don't even have like a real muscle spasm. But, you know, as I hit the button, there's still the thing there. So going up you know there's still it's literally just a minor stim and i can get pretty high with it before i feel anything um or really have a reaction uh i don't use it higher than a 40 ish on the dog depending on the dog um i say 40 with aries because he's a very stubborn dog and doesn't like to listen to corrections um and that seems to be like somewhere between 20 and 40 depending on what the correction is for is what he needs um with athena i haven't even used the stem yet i use vibrate and the beep so the vibrate i can change the intensity of it as well and then it just has the little vibrate setting so you guys can hear it vibrating um and then obviously you know you can change that intensity and duration um and then same with having the beep is you can change how loud it is um and i use the vibration as a negative you know you need to fix something with her and then the beep as a positive you're doing something right um so anyways from there another thing i didn't exactly know where to put this um because it's not really a training tool although we do use it for training and it's not a leash or a pull strap or anything it's just this little training tab thing we use this to teach her to hold um she enjoys playing with fleece toys so a fleece tab with the metal on it is good for teaching her um just the foundations for the take and hold commands um from here i'll probably go to the dumbbell um but for now it's good it's interesting to her as a puppy and that's what's important to me um going from there we then have our leashes and traffic leads as i said i really don't have much for her um right now so first off is just our good old fashioned leather leash um you've seen this and basically all of my gear haul videos um this is just from amazon as i've said before i do not have a link for it anymore because amazon doesn't sell it but it is our oh my gosh okay it is our favorite leash ever probably won't ever get rid of this unless it hits a point um obviously take very good care of our leather um just for safety this one's a brown one and it's 6.5 feet um i also have a black bridgeport canine um actually forgot to grab it probably should have um because i use it for both of them but from there, we have this very old Ruggers Ropes leash. Um, this one is pink. It was actually 
second hand and used with the bell for a while and then I just held on to it because Frederick's Rips closed and you obviously can't get a replacement at all. Um, so anyways, it got passed on to Athena in the end. Um, I'm probably going to try and re-dye this. I guess at this point it's so wear down, wore down that I'm not super concerned with what's going to happen. Um, if it doesn't hold the dye, then it doesn't hold the dye kind of thing. Um, but just dye it pink back to the original pink color. Uh, so yeah, and that one's I believe just 6.5 feet. Um, we also have this, I believe it's Cass and Co gear, uh, burgundy leash, which I think I've shown in another video. It was Aries's originally, but this is part of a big set. Um, our mint and burgundy set specifically. Uh, this one's also 6.5 feet because that's what works for me and all of my dogs, so. Okay, we then have this Crescent Cookie Co. leash tab. It's a six inch one or traffic lead. I don't, you know, I prefer to say traffic lead, but I know to some it's different. Um, I really like these um, for off leash work. It gives me something that I can grab if I absolutely need to, but it's also a, you know, I can drop it and they can walk without it. Um, I haven't started off leash work with Athena yet but will be soon just because of the strides she's making. Um, so that's what this is for. And this is all uh, part of another set that I will show later on. Okay, um, going from there, I'll be doing our an accessory, our one and only accessory I have for her, and then I'll go into pull straps. So our little accessory is this cute little pink bow it's got roses on it um it's pink with like green i got this from spoiled pup boutique i believe i'll link it but it's just got some like jewels on there um you commonly see these in poodles hair but i like to clip it on her collar um i just think it's really cute so yeah anyways um pull straps we have this once again, very old, very worn, um, Rider's Rope pull strap so that came with the pink pull or pink hands-free leash that I showed earlier. Um, it's one of those that I'm probably going to try and re-dye also, um, just because this one's even more faded than that one is, uh, even though they're the same age, but obviously this has more, like, hand action. Um, I believe this is 12 inches from excluding the clips. I'm not exactly positive. Um, I'll have to measure it, but that's what that is. Um, we then have our Crescent Cookies Co. matching pull strap. This matches our least strap shown earlier. Um, and then these match another thing that will be shown later. Um, this is 12 inches. I know that. We just got it. I absolutely love fleece pull straps, just the feeling. Um, I want to say I'm not doing any sort of mobility on, like, with Athena yet. Uh, she will be learning guide, like, the foundations of guide probably pretty soon because she's seven months old already. Um, and the foundations of guide do not involve any mobility whatsoever. And then she will most likely start guide work around a year and a half. Um, just because that's, you know, in my opinion, the kind of guide that I need is not pulling, so it's not mobility. Um, and then she will be doing FMP once she is two years old and cleared. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's what the pull straps are for. And then I obviously want her to get used to having the pull strap just resting on her back. Um, we also have our Dapper Dude Co. pull strap. This is teal and pink. Um, I do actually plan on shortening this a little bit because it is, like, as you can see, it is way longer than our other pull straps and our preferred length. Um, so I am going to try and shorten it a little bit, um, just because I think that's going to be our best option, um, because currently this is way too long to use. Um, but yeah, uh, Dapper Dude Co. makes great quality gear. If you can get your hands on one of her harnesses, I highly recommend it, um, or any of her gear, all of its great quality. 
Uh, anyways, next I'm going to do leash wraps and patch tabs. So the majority of our leash wraps are patience and love. Um, this is just our burgundy and mint symbols um, with like black fabric. Uh, it's just stop, no talk, touch, or eye contact. This is part of our burgundy setup, so it matches that leash. Um, we then have just this black and white in training, please don't approach leash wrap. Um, this one's just our, those are our two regular size, just stock design. Um, we then have these two gray in training with the medical alert, they're gray with black and green. Um, we use them with our red Yep Collars harness that was in a past video, but I do plan to eventually get red and black ones for that. Um, I just don't know when that will be. Um, we then have our two Lucky Dog Gear wraps. Um, this one is pink and white and says no photos please. And then we have this hollow and black that says ignore us. Um, Lucky Dog Gear is honestly amazing quality. I adore their stuff and plan to purchase more when I can. I actually haven't used this wrap yet, but that's just because I want to get a matching one. Um, but honestly, I've been debating using these two together on a harness until our other wraps get in for it, but we'll see what happens. Um, we then have our Holden Stagot dog gear wrap. It just says, be patient. I'm learning. It's purple embroidery with like this metallic -y. um, fabric. I love this. Um, it's got just like a fleece inside. I don't know if you guys can see. I also recommend Holden Scott dog gear. If any of the gear that I have, I recommend um, and plan to leave in the description box below. If I don't recommend it, I will tell you why and why I keep it. Um, but, you know, there's obviously reasons behind why I keep going back to the same shops. Um, this is our Holden Scott dog gear patch tab. It just says pretend I'm invisible like my handler's disability. It's black backing with white and pink embroidery. Um, invisible and disability are pink and then everything else is white. Uh, this just has the snap on it. Um, I actually took off the ring because where I wanted to put this on, the ring just didn't work out. Um, but I have the clips so that I can always put it back on. I then have our Lucky Dog Gear Hollow and Black Do Not Interact tab. Um, I actually keep this on one of Aries' harnesses sometimes, and then the other time I use it on just different types of, like, different pieces of Athena's gear. I really like patch tabs just for, like, more so during the summer, just, like, leash wraps where I can wear my leash with a wrap, and then I can take a tab and put it on, like, her collar so it's more visible. And that way she doesn't have to wear as much gear um, because the summers here in Texas get crazy hot. Um, all right, from here I'm moving into vests, capes, and harnesses. Starting off, I just have our second hand One Tigress vest. This is, I don't know what style this is off the top of my head. I think it's the Fire Watcher. I'm not 100% sure. I'll look on their website. I have a hard time keeping all of their things straight. And then it has So What Co. patches on it. Um, so the two side ones say service dog with some roses. They're white backing with black embroidery for service dog and then like a burgundy um, border and red roses. And then the middle one says keep back um this is just a standalone vest obviously this is too short for athena but perfect with aries um it's big enough obviously like it's set to aries size because he's the last one that wore it but it works for both of them and it works well for both of them um i then have our patience and love do not distract service dog and training vest with the symbols, it says no talk, touch, eye contact, or pictures. Okay, so yeah, it's just got the service dog and training, like do not, do not distract. And then it's red with gray. Um, 
the truss strap is extended pretty far back because we used it as a cape the other day. Um, it's still got a ton of girth room. Um, even after the, I think we trimmed the, did we trim the, I think we trimmed the straps. I'm not positive though. Um, this is just a basic one and we got it secondhand as well. Um, just because I didn't want to have her outgrowing the thing that I spent a bunch of money on. Um, we then have our One Tigress Apollo 9 vest. I don't have the front strap on this because we've been using it as a cape. Um, this is the short version. It's black. Um, it says that we just have like Amazon patches on the sides that say service dog and training. These are black with like reflective writing. Um, on the back, I'm not showing this patch right now. Um, we just have two So What Co patches. One says Working Canine, which is the top one here. They're just black and white. And the other says Do Not Separate Service Dog from Handler. It's also black and white. Um, I always loved the quality of One Tiger's Vest. I plan on ordering more. Um, for Athena, she just looks better in like the short vest, especially for like using it for a cape and stuff. Um, getting into harnesses, we mostly use harnesses with her, um, just because she seems to prefer the feeling of them. So, starting with stuff that you guys have seen before, we just have this burgundy and mint one. It's from Lemon Drop Gear, or Lemon Drop Canine Gear. It's Lemon Drop Gear on Instagram. It's just a wide front fleece harness with mint fleece and burgundy webbing and then white embroidery um love this harness it works great it obviously has a very wide girth range um on the smallest it fits athena and then the largest or almost the largest it fits aries um so yeah that's that harness um we then have okay well i'm just going through our fleece harnesses first, I guess I should do. Uh, we then have this gray and black one that was actually a tester harness for Crescent Cookie Company. Um, the same place I got my uh, the leash tab and pull strap shown earlier. Um, this is just gray and black. It was their first harness or second harness they had ever made. Um, we tested it with Aries and then it's been passed on to Athena just because of the fact that the strapping is thinner and it works better on a smaller dog. Um, with Athena being smaller, best option um, before anybody says anything. I'm not using counterbalance with this harness. Never will. Um, wasn't cleared by a vet and just obviously want to keep my dog safe. So, yeah. That's that. Then have our Dapper Dude Co. harness. This is pink with teal and gray webbing. Um, it's just, yeah, as I said, it's the dual tone fleece. So it's got the two types of fleece right here, like two colored. I love Bryn stuff. Um, I honestly am hoping I can get my hands on more, but have been trying to resist the urge to just impulse buy gear. Um, only buy it if it's in our color schemes and we really need it, which is, as I said, another reason that Athena doesn't have as much gear as Aries right now. Um, and I don't know if she ever will. So, yeah, this is just one of Bryn's harnesses that I'm really glad I got my hands on. Um, next we have this, gosh, uh, hang on. Okay, service pup gear on Instagram harness. Um, it's just yellow fleece with blue webbing and red embroidery that says service dog. Um, I do want to say this is one of the shops that I don't know if I'll recommend. Um, I'm really upset with this harness. It, I want to say it was won in a raffle giveaway. Um, so I paid for tickets and then happened to win the drawing. However, I did pay for the embroidery um, and shipping and stuff, and I had asked for a specific embroidery and didn't get the wording I wanted, 
and this was a harness that I had been really hoping was going to turn out how I wanted because it was going to have a lot of meaning to it and it didn't so yeah just a little let down um they did try to fix it but it was I was going to be paying shipping back to Australia and that is really pricey um to have it completely remade or just taking a shop credit for the embroidery um so I will give them props for that, but honestly, I think the mistake as far as for the embroidery shouldn't have been made in the first place, um, especially since I confirmed. And then my other thing is I had asked about rings or cape or pull strap, was told they would definitely be on there and they're not, even though I had offered to pay for extra to get them on there if they didn't come. So just, yeah, was a little let down when I opened the harness, but it's all good. Um, so anyways, moving on from that is our Savvy Shepherd Co. fleece harness, as I have said and will continue to say. I rave about this harness. It is literally one of the best harnesses I have. I honestly compare the quality to that of my service pup seek harness or that of Dapper Dude Co. Um, honestly, I do think um, service pup seek harnesses are a little better made than Dapper Dude Co., but Dapper Dude Co. is nothing to mess with as far as quality. Um, and this is at least second hand, if not me being the third or fourth owner. Um, I bought it from somebody not straight from her, so it's had wear to it. So I can't say what the quality of her new harnesses or her harnesses now are. Um, anyways, Savvy Shepherd Co. Love, adore, will be purchasing another harness in the future because I have another fleece harness I want to get. Um, the embroidery on this is straight, perfect, exactly as asked for. Um, pull strap came how I want it. I do think it is a little bit shorter, actually, than I had asked because I had asked for the same length as this. Yeah, so it's a little bit shorter, like a couple inches, so that could have just been the fleece getting cut short. Um, with how Athena's growing, it should be the perfect length once she's full grown, so not worried. Um, if it was a big deal, I'd ask them to remake to the right link, um, or remake it myself. Um, so yeah, anyways, as I said, love this harness. One of the best ones that I have will be one of her harnesses until she's full grown. Okay, um, we then have our red Yep Colors harness. This is just their pet style Y front. As I said, I bought this for her to get used to leather gear. We still use it because we have no need for a full mobility setup yet, um, other than for her to get used to it, uh, like no need to seriously use it. And I do like the look of just a red harness on her. It's very nice, very professional. Um, and with this, it's all she wears with the, some leash straps on the shoulders. Um, so yeah, especially for hot days, this is great. And then with the leather padding, it doesn't trap in any heat, doesn't have any like of the fur really stick to it. So anyways, yeah, as I said, great quality, love the harness, um, highly recommend Yup for their pet style harnesses. Um, and last but not least, we have our, yep, guide harness. Um, we got this second hand. Um, it's just pink with white accents and white leather padding and then rose gold hardware. It has the guide handle and a rigid handle. Um, with the rigid handle, I don't know if it will actually ever be used with Athena. Uh, Probably not, even for counterbalance. I don't know if she's going to get that big. I may end up reaching out to Yep to see if I can have the rigid handle removed. But it's also not that big a deal because if you can tell, the bunny loops actually come up to almost the exact same height as the rigid handle. So I'm not super concerned. And then obviously we have our guide handle on here. This is just the 12 inch guide handle. Um, it's white with pink accents, um, and there is gold hard hardware also, um, and then that's just the harness, it's the double belly strap, um, I do want to say my one complaint with Yep, I'm not saying I will never order from them, because I actually have 
a cape that I'm planning to order soon is I don't understand why the belly strap on this harness is made with different quality gear than or different quality leather than the rest of the harness. Um, one thing I can't grasp because all of this is really it's great quality. It's amazing, as I said, amazing quality um, leather gear just overall. But then I have this and it almost feels like what a purse would be made out of. And obviously you can tell the pink is different and it does, yeah, it does kind of bother me. Um, personal preference, it's belly straps so you can't really see it. If it was on the shoulder straps, I probably wouldn't have ever bought it. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's all our in-training gear. I hope you guys enjoyed and... Um, if you have any video requests, leave them down below because honestly, I'm running out of video ideas here in quarantine. Um, videos I had planned are obviously out, such as PA training, PA trips, um, a day in our life at college. Uh, just a lot of videos I was planning are gone thanks to being home. But I do have a How I Clean My Gear video and engagement games for quarantine coming up so and i hope you guys enjoyed all that and